Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Shadowrun Returns. Last left off, we cleared out this, uh, this, uh, uh, freaking, what the freaking, what is it called? The, you know, it's, it's a hangar full of, uh, of, uh, broken plane parts and whatnot. They investigate plane crashes, I forgot, but we talked to the spirits after clearing it out and everything's fine. My, bro I, I, my, my, uh, my uh, allergies are really bothering me today. Yes, this is, this is from the last episode. Is, uh, allergies are really bothering me. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I have uh, charisma to spend. Uh, char charisma. Karma to spend. Let's see. Um... Yeah, let's go with that. There. Increase star quickness even higher. I do need to increase my, my health at some point. But anyway. Wait, does anyone else have karma to spend? No. Anyway, let's uh go back here. I knew I should have got a Decker, but I was going for the standard party complement of uh, two DPS, a tank, and a healer. What's this? Blood. That is what the killer. That is what the spirits wanted us to find. The piece of my brother's killer. It's not much, but it's enough. She scowls at it, looking every bit like she intends to reach through the small sample and dismember its owner from afar. And perhaps she can. Is that enough to target a spell? All I need is a drop. And adequate time. But I'm still feeling quite drained. I'll need rest before I can try anything so involved. When, I, when I'm able, I'll commune with Bear, consult the spirits, and do what must be done. But in the meantime, you might take some portion of the sample to pursue a more conventional avenue of attack. I asked a friend you might be able to help. Good. Let me know if you learn anything about this elf and troll pair. And should you find them, I want to be there when they are brought low. I want to see the light leave their eyes. For my brother. There's no one, I'd re there's no one else I'd rather have on my side. Let's see. Is it, can, I, can, I, can I get in this room? No. Anyone else? No? No? Nothing? Okay. I think it's time to go then. Because I really can't see anything else I can raid, so let's just leave. I guess I could have just done this, but it's fine. I guess I could have just add this to the end of the episode, but it's fine. It's fine. After hours, when, re when you return to the seamstress's union in the early hours of the morning, it seems a completely different place. Bereft of a normal crowd that haunts it, the bar feels desolate, almost abandoned. It's eerie, like the back hallways of hotels and shopping malls. But you finally have a break in your case, a sample of the Ripper's blood. You just need to find someone to help you analyze it. Why, yes, I believe we can find that person. I had to crack my neck. With it, without its colorful staff, cast of regulars imposing tourists, the union feels hollow. The front bar and lounge are deserted except for a handful of janitors. Mrs. Kabuda's in the back. No, oh, wait, wait. Let me see if I can catch this. Unconfirmed Ripper killing. An unnamed NTSB worker was found dead at the Bureau's West Seattle Warehouse. Lone Star remains silent. Of course they do. Mm-hmm. Gathered around the intimate back bar, Miss Kubota and her cordery gather for breakfast, with the lady herself look doing the cooking. A smell of soy calf and something resembling sausages fills the sausage, fills the room. Sausage, 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 sausage. Well, yes, sausage. Ohio, would you like some? She stops. Forgive me, all my, but you look like hell. 
Thanks, just the welcome I was looking for. She looks you over, knowing the signs of your nocturnal activity. She nods. Any rent you can walk away from is a good one. Helps when the other team doesn't walk away. No one to follow you. I could tell you've been busy. And I could see by the look on your face there's something you need. Is this about the Ripper? Yep, found some DNA and need help analyzing it. That is excellent. I will unlock the panel so you may go downstairs. I am certain someone in the safe house will be able to help you if they are awake. It is likely you will visit the Matrix before the day is done. May I, may I take a sausage? Take the whole plate. Why, yes, I will! Why, yes, I goddamn will! Oh, look at that! Ooh, 12 karma to spend. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Well, I just hiked up my frickin' here. Let me go ahead and put some points in body for the HP 7. And let's see, let's see what do I want to do. I think I need to upgrade my... Yep, that worked. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Mr. Clue, how you doing? Turns you. Evening, man. What's the word around town, Mr. Clue? There's been more talk of the Ripper killings. Some people say they hate their hate crimes on account of the victims all being human. There's more to it than just that. My thoughts exactly. People are too quick to label something a hate crime. Check the census. The city is still 66% humans. Close your eyes and throw a rock. You're more likely to hit a human. Doesn't make it a hate crime. Still a crime though, and that should be enough. Thank you! Thank you very much! This is, the, this is the first real rise you've seen after, out of Mr. Clue. But he reins himself in with a roll of his thick shoulders and a smoothing of his jacket. Don't worry. Not going to start throwing rocks. Wouldn't want to reinforce the stereotype. I'll leave you to your business, man. Freaking love that guy. Yes, let's go see if we can get this here, uh... Uh, uh, thing. You've been doing a lot of legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace and back to ID the Ripper. The Matrix, a cybernetic analog of, the, of inside the grid. The worldwide computer network, a digital world, information brought to life. Inside cyberspace, your avatar does all the work while your meat body is left behind. All around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counter-intrusion programs, and other jacked-in runners. Cyberspace has as many dangers as the meat world, and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures, and black IC that can fry a Decker's brain. Every movement you make in the Matrix can be tracked, if you aren't careful. Get dump shocked out, and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy Decker, and you can die. No, well, that's lovely. I'm not a Decker. Whoop. Before I talk to him, need to uh, replenish my uh, my uh, grenades. <laughs> need to fill them back up. Anyone else over here? Eh, let's talk to uh, these two. These two might be able to help me on the situation. Hey, David, how you doing? Morning. You look like you've been up all night. You look like you've seen some action, too. Suppose I could use a shower. You here to buy equipment? Negative. Need a DNA analysis. Fry can help you out. Hmm. Doc Castle's equipment. He isn't really set up for that. He can say this for a minute. However, I could employ a semiconductor chip. It could decode DNA using a voltage change instead of light. That would eliminate the use of highly expe expensive equipment that would re be required otherwise. He brightens. I just read a journal about it, so the information's still fresh. Frankly, it should be easy. What do you want to know about it? The owner's identity. Ah, that's beyond me. All I can get you is a gene code sequence. That's where I come in. Dave, if you can get me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we can track down its owner via a matrix run. Will do. Let me have the DNA when you want to test it. There we go. You have that, and you scan that for me. Let me know who it is so I can go and shoot them dead square in the eyeball. Big. When Dave gives me the sequence, I'll jack in and help you trace the blood sample back to a source. If this works, I'll bring back more than just a sample. Uh, whose blood is it? Could be the Emerald City Ripper. No trick? Turns to Johnny and says, Wake up, Johnny boy, we got work to do, big. If you need any gear, I'll be right here. I just got a second win. Meet you at my rig, big. Oh! 
two karma for four points. What can I do for four points? Let's see, what is this? Ooh! I'm saving that for I'm saving that for, for Dead Eye. Let me uh Wait, am I blah am I let me see here. I really should be saving here. I should really save here. Yeah, so I'll do that. Just uh, so I don't say over end up over saving my. Did I literally just over save my my old save? No, it's still there. Good. Whew. All right. Uh, I don't think he has a. Let me see. Uh, it's all yeah. It's all deck decking stuff. I don't have that. Rangra! Was hoping to get some peace and quiet tonight. You got something for me? I've got a flight recorder. Wouldn't happen to be an Eddie's flight recorder, would it? Some very powerful buyers are looking for that right now. I can get rid of it for you, say 20%? At least 2000 for you? I know I have. Oh, I don't have corpus, so that's fine. 2000 fine. Pleasure doing business? Thanks to the semiconductor based gene sequencing system that David employed, we should have the information we need to track the Ripper in the Matrix. I'm really impressed with his results, considering it was his first attempt. He was utilizing an unproven technique he'd read about in the Science Journal, and he was working from memory on minimal sleep. That's great, Professor. What's the plan? We hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prime prior criminal record. They have extensive DNA archives, and we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the decks and jack in the matrix. I can get you into their private grid easily. But I gotta warn you, once we're in, it can yell rough. How much deck experience have you had? None. No experience? What now? I have a tro I have a trode net here. A head manuary that lets you piggyback me into the matrix. You'll see and hear everything I do. Okay. So we're gonna be playing as Johnny Clean. I imagine if we were a decker, we'd be doing it ourselves. Your synapses light up as you connect to your, con your your consciousness to the digital world. Although you aren't jacked in like Johnny, the sensation is overwhelming and electronic. You can only imagine the way it feels for him. So we're playing as Johnny. Good old Johnny Clean. His arc will take us to the next note. Okay. The data store ahead is defended by intrusion countermeasures. Let's be, let's be careful. Uh, let's see. Heal yourself. Okay, let's uh, start the business. Oh! Uh-huh. Schmuck. 50 yip damage, that's not good. Okay, do I have any... Okay, I delete that. Really? Uh. Yep, let's uh, increase that. And there we go. Yeah, he's healing and buffing, so we're gonna have to take care of him first. Nope. Yeah, you come right on over here. Cause uh, boom, down you go. I'm just gonna stay right here. Y'all can't freaking touch me. There we go. It says down. I didn't get to read it. DNA match. Okay, 100% match. Arrest records database. Subject, Silas Forsberg. Status, deceased. Profession, chop shop surgical assistant. Priors, breaking and entering, two counts. Public indecency, one count. 
What did you do? Walking around with your dang do about? Brought in for questioning on accusa accusations of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. I was set match to a dead man? Let's keep looking. Wait, can I do anything more with that? No. Uh, I bought this way. Uh ho. Let's hide. Got two more hits on the name Silas Forsberg. Okay, you got to die first, because I just don't like you. No. Alright, and let's see, we're still good. What you doing? What you doing? Uh-huh. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna freaking nuke you. Just because you do your, your crap. And now we run away. <laughs> Don't fight freaking surrounded. Okay, now let's see here. Maybe we have it. Might as well use it. Let's, uh... Whoop, 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 whoop. Smarmy little schmuck. There we go. Problem solved. Let's go check the news network. Hack news article. News bot. One. Return on subject. Silas Forsberg. The body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Snomish earlier this week. The body had been there for as long as a month when Forsberg landlord noticed the rancid smell and contacted authorities. Those saw representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. According to reports, his body, um, his body, a mass of puncture wounds, and the cause of death was determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. The man's employer claims he was a dedicated employee, though he suffered from bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the t attorney appointed to his estate has located a wi w will written weeks prior, leaving all his belongings to his psychiatrist. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns, yet another sad end to a life is, is, is far too common here in the sprawl. Now that we might be on something, we can go on. Let's regroup in the meat space for a bit. Well, first, let me just check over here. Yeah, why, why, why we group when uh, there's something here to acquire? I think if I was actually playing as the ca character instead of, you know, you know, playing as him, I think I'd be having a har far harder time. Hack autopsy records. Autopsy records. Subject Sal Solberg. Note. Subject was found overdosed on half a dozen different sedatives. Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in the system. Face was mutilated, possibly self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next of kin. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body. Possibly large bore surgical needles. Body had been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. It just keeps getting weirder. Yes, let us leave now. We've uh, taken care of everything around here. Let's leave. So here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with, the, with chop shops, which fits for a, with the living guy that you've met. 
The news net says he left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe find out who his, his psychiatrist is was, was will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck into the medical board's records and reverse trace to find this doctor. You in? Punch it, man! Yep, we're gonna go back in. Because uh, things are gonna get very interesting here in a minute. Oh. Nah, see, big boy, I don't trust you. I don't like you. So I'm just gonna blast you to frickin' bits. Sniffer accuracy, huh? I mean to click that way, but it's fine. don't think I need that right now, so we're not going to bother with that. We're instead... Alarm state. Don't think I have an alarm state to worry about, so... Yeah, took care of you. Searching medical records. South Forsberg. Medical records. Okay, South Okay, uh... 20... 20, 20, 20, 20 30. Oh, so that's right now. One particular uh, uh, pediatrician's entry stands out from the rest. Child suffers from a chronic depression and social anxiety, most likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently, with the outbreak of cha changeling children being born. With the aberrant physiology we're seeing there, there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribed a series of studies last year that seem to have no effect upping the dosage. How about 2029 30? Oh. Okay, that's weird. 2030, 2040? Data missing or corrupted. Contact your administrator for help. Mm -hmm. 2040 to present? This file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. The file entry, however, is the most significant. It is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medications have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional boundary with him have proved ch proven challenging. He has bonded with me in an unhealthy and frankly unner in unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of mimicked speech patterns and adopting my dress. For this reason, and for the health of the patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will inform him at his next session. Got a name now. Dr. Holmes, let's keep going find where he works. Yes, let's do that. Watch out, that black eye keeps, uh, black eye seeking fire our brains. Oh. So, uh... Ooh, ten host damage. Gotta kill him, quick. Mast! Mast! You shuck. You shuck so much. Don't think I'm really gonna have a problem. I'm just gonna delete him. Goodbye! Get your... Get your crap up my face and I'm just gonna double tap this guy here. Poof! There we go. Let's come over and check the medical board. Act employment records. Employment records located. Henry Hollings Holmes. Henry Hollings Holmes, MD, PhD. Check current employment status. Current employment status. Dr. Henry Holmes currently holds the position of Chief Psychiatrist Administrator at Mercy Mental Hospital, S Sonomish, Washington, UCAS. What's current employment status? Oh. Previous employment status. 20, uh, 45 to 54, Psychiatrist and Resident Mercy Mental Hospital, Sonomish. 40 to 45, same. 30 to 40, private practice. Oh, it's the same thing. Leave employment records. Bingo, back to meat space again. Ah, uh, let's, let's, uh. Oh. 
Okay, I guess that's it there. Didn't find anything else. Reality is at, at the end of the day is context. Reality at, is at the end of the day contextual, as is. And as the meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to sell on which world is the real one. While the philosophical question lingers, your meat body demands food and drink. You disconnect from your deck to find that Union Safe House has uh, has risen. Okay, so everybody's there. And let's see here. Woo! Hmm. Uh, at least five. Yes. Range combat five, dodge is five. With an extra bonus. Because we're an elf. So, we have delve into the, 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 the digital world out of the Matrix. So I'm just adjusting myself. And have gotten a small bit of a lead. But is this lead going to be helpful at all? And most importantly, most importantly, are we ever going to find the Ripper? Find out next time on The Big Man Plays! Uh, Shadow Run Returns. Say, I, my allergies just got me all confuzzled today. Until then, it's Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara, and uh, maybe the next time I play this, I'll do a decker. But then again, I like the magic. I like I like to throw a few fireballs. But then again, decking might be helpful too. I don't know. So it's all it's all confusing. <laughs>